Hi, friends! Welcome back to Alice Play World. Bring you some more Heroes of the Storm. Today we're playing Damage Lily, and don't tell me it can't be done. Ready for adventure. Welcome to the Haunted Mines. Enemy team Stitches, Espada, Nova, Murden, Sylvanas. Friendly team Abath, Terriel, Nova, Sylvanas, and of course Lily. First time we're going to be picking up is Gale Force, increasing the Blinding Wind damage, which is one of what's going to be our main focus here today. Basically, our Q ability is called Healing Brew. You'll heal the lowest health ally, prioritizing heroes around us. It's a, it's a smart cast ability. You don't have to target it. You just pick somebody. The W ability is called Cloud Serpent, which will summon a Cloud Serpent on an allied hero or yourself, which will do damage periodically. And, of course, our E ability, Blinding Wind. Throw a cloud of Blinding Wind at, two the, at the two nearest targets, uh, prioritizing hero again, dealing damage, and uh, making them miss the next two basic attacks, which will be really solid against Nova and Sylvanas, I think. If, uh, if you can get it good there. Of course, our trade is called Fast Feet. Every time we get hit, we're going to get 10% movement speed. I just keep an eye out for that. Normally, we would be building more of a straight healer, Lily, but today, like I said, we're going to try for damage. We're going to go for really weird. I'm going to jump on here on Savannah, try to heal her out, jump here and try to deter the enemy team. One of the things about this build is that you're going to be spamming Q quite a lot because you have to be in somebody's face. We're basically acting as a tank, as you can see there. I'm going to go ahead and put the Serpent and chase so deep. But now we have stitches to contend with, so we're being a little careful. Abathur is jump jumping on us, almost as if he knows what's happening. Uh, we got Murden here. We're going to dodge the stun. Now jump here on stitches, doing a ton of damage. Here comes the blind. We're going to be able to keep healing ourselves. We do get killed there by the enemy. Um, uh, uh, Murden, that's his name, right? <laughs> and he does stun us. We do pick up the kill there on Nova. Now Sylvanas getting out of there. Can she dodge the stun? It doesn't look as she need to because really good pick up there for the friendly team. So we traded uh, three for one. That's not bad. Three for one. They are going to focus you down a lot because you are the healer. So keep an eye out on that. Let's look at that color coordination, though. Straight blue for days on our little billy goat. All right, let's go in here and resume the push. It looks like we are a level ahead of our friendly enemy team. Well, not really quite a level, but uh, pretty close. And we're going to continue to push here as offensive as we can. I'm going to try to not die again. That's going to be my mission. It does look like Sylvanas gets caught there. I'm going to try to throw a healing brew. Not able to save her life. She does get taken down there. That's a sad day. They completely destroyed her in two seconds. Abby, a little bit uh, scared there on the top lane. We're going to go try to help him out. I like uh, I like the idea of helping Abathur. We're gonna grab uh, grab Vision here, and we should go mine stop, I suppose. We're gonna go really deep here on Sylvanas if she's not careful. I don't think she sees us coming though, so she's backing away. Just look, we don't have anybody else in the top lane. Here comes Sylvanas. We're gonna jump right on her, putting a serpent in ourselves, getting a heal, and basically just uh, thankfully to that tumor getting out of there without even getting hit because her Q ability, like ours, is also a smart catch. She doesn't aim it, and it does pick the nearest target sometimes. So. uh... We should be fine here. It does look like the friendly team not opting to come top uh, mines, which is a little problematic here for me because I want to help them out. But uh, I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to go in and uh, try to help out a little bit. It looks like none of my teammates going in here. We're going to try to pretend that we're going out. Uh, I don't know where she's going. Okay, we're just going to start creating some, some kills here on these your camps. We need to get some skulls. I'm not damaged lately yet. Uh, so the build doesn't allow me to do that much DPS. So we're just going to sit here and try to grab some skulls smartly. It does look like a friendly team finally are going here. We're throwing down the little serpent on ourselves again. The next time we're going to be picking up is uh, we're going to be picking up Mass Vortex, which basically makes it so that we hit more targets with our E, which is good for damage, as Damage Lady does. We're going to go ahead and stay, stay here with the Exus Sylvanas for a little bit, just to make sure we can get a couple heals off. Top her off. That should be fine. And now let's just follow Tyrrell. Let's stick together as a group, as it does look like we have a little bit more skulls on the enemy team. So it's mostly depending on a good team fight here. One more second to cover. Basically, I'm going to spam this up. I'm going to throw that on Tyrrell so that he has his little... Uh, Serpent sidekick buddy. It does look like we get just in time to steal most of the skulls. Really good play there from the friendly team. Here we go, standing a lot of damage. I'm gonna pop my Q yet again, putting the Serpent uh, sidekick there on the friendly Tyrrell, doing a ton of damage. And we're gonna be able to pick up the kill on Stitches. Can we? Can we? Here comes the win. No need. We're keeping to spamming the Q to keep uh, Tyrrell stayed up. Stayed up. Topped off. We do pick up the kill there as well. It does look like the enemy Nova went down this way. I saw her. I seen her. I seen her. She's gone though. She's gone. I think she got away. I think she got away. There she is. Oh, we can't kill her. We can't kill her. We're going to throw this up in ourselves. Here comes another Q on you. Pick up the kill there. Oh, no. She thought she had me, but she did not. Damage clearly prevails. <laughs> Let's look at damage really quickly. 2,100 for us. We're keeping up the friendly Nova uh, slightly behind um, their damage dealers. We were past their Sylvanas. So far, so good, I think. Uh, let's make one thing clear, though, guys. I'm not going to be topping off the damage meter. It's just a really surprisingly uh, durable build that I came up with. Because they don't have a healer, so basically my heals are uh, almost not needed. Basically, you can get away with a lot of nonsense. Let's throw out the Serpent Psychic there on uh, Tyrael as we do engage this thing. I'm going to go really deep here to try to fight Sylvanas. What's up? What's up? Get out of there. Get out of there. All right, and we're just going to resume damage here. Basically, we want to zone out for our friendly team. 
I continue throw out, to throw out my Serpent Psychic on, uh, on Tyrael just so he can help DPS. It does look like we almost take her down. Can you pick up the kill there, Noah, please? Oh, she doesn't. I was kind of hoping she was going to dive and maybe do a sniper or something cool, but nothing happened. All right, we do clear out the top goal. And it looks like they killed ours a while ago. So we're going to go bottom lane and try to assist Abathur with this counter push that is about to ensue. It looks like Stitch is catching the friendly Nova out of place. That's a bad time. But I need to be here to defend. It does look like I have the enemy Aspodan as well as Meriden. Let's got to try to dodge the stun. No need as he does not throw it. And we're going to throw a Serpent Tagging on ourselves. Try to kill this dude. And try to do a little bit of damage. Luckily, we can actually nuke a little bit with our E from far away. And sort of re-engage. There's such a stun. There's such a stun. Yeah, we do dodge a stun there. No problem. Serpent Tagging coming out on ourselves again. We're chasing really deep. We're doing a lot of damage. Here comes the laser from Aspodan. We're forcing him to walk back and re-engage here. The next time we're going to be picking up is... Uh, pitch perfect, which is going to basically make it so that every time we spam our Q ability, it's going to cost a little less mana. And you'll see why later on as this build does get really intensive and we're totally spamming Q on ourselves just to keep ourselves stopped off and just dancing here with the enemy murder. And we're doing a ton of damage though. You can see we're basically winning this exchange. Here comes the W uh, on ourselves to keep ourselves stopped off. Oh, but here comes the stun on top of Nova. Oh my god, we're dead. <laughs> I was not prepared for enemy Nova and Sitch is finally joining there. We did, we're holding them up pretty well 1v2 with the help of Avatar. Basically, it seemed like an even fight. But they do take us down and look at the stats really quickly. We do have 4,000 healing. That should be more around 6 or 8 if we were focusing mostly on healing at the time. But no to no fretting because I don't think we really need it. I mean, we, that wasn't a team engaged. That was a 3v1. A little silly of me to be engaging that hard. But I was kind of hoping that I would get some assistance from my teammates. I am making my way over here to help Tyrael. Uh, he sees me coming, so he's going to get emboldened. We're going to go ahead and throw the Serpent Psychic on him, although we just get dismounted instead of serving, throwing anything. And that's quite alright. We have mines in 21 seconds. Might as well own this bottom lane while we can, so we can go do that. It looks like Tyrael opted to go immediately to the mines. I disagree with that. I think we can stay out here a little bit longer to make sure this is pushed a little bit. Sylvanas is going to be able to damage that tower, which means we can actually do damage a little bit uh, without risk right here. Because we, we know they're not really going to have an answer. We do throw our E there just to attack the other guy. We're damaging the tower as much as we can. And we're going to be able to take it down, no problem. That's one tower. The second tower will be 4, 800 experience total, putting us at level 9. And now we can back up. I'm going to throw the heal there on Sylvanas. She's coming with me underneath, I hope. I hope, I hope. Okay, I'm just going to keep her here. Here comes the Serpent Psychic. We're doing a lot of damage. I keep spamming the Q. I'm trying to body block for Sylvanas. I'm taking a lot of damage. Basically, just keep going, just keep going. Here comes Sylvanas jumping the other way. I am taking a lot of damage from the laser. Let's dodge that. Here comes the E, but I cannot kill him. We finally do take that Murden. Arathur jumping there on Sylvanas. This is a 2v3 that should have never happened, but she's doing a lot of damage, keeping them entertained. Meanwhile, our teammates nowhere to be found. I guess Noah's up here, and uh, Tyrael died somewhere, which is a little bit annoying. It's a little bit annoying, as we could have done a little bit more. They are going to be getting a lot of skulls, even though it felt like that should have been... That should have been, uh... That should have been a little better. Tyrael complained that he got 1v2 in mines. He went there way too early. He should have waited for us. That's on him. <laughs> It's, it is important to go mines, but you also have to pay attention, so you can't really uh, blame your teammates if you don't have it. We are going to be picking up... Oh, man, I, run, I really want to pick up the, the jug, but I feel like the dragon... I mean, we're going damage leading. you got to pick up the dragon, right? Yeah, we're going to be picking up the water dragon straight up. We're going to go for straight stuns. Let's jump in here. Help Nova. Here comes the ser uh, Serpent Psychic. Here comes our E. And we're going to go ahead and throw the water dragon on the enemy asshole down. Ooh, stunning him, doing a lot of damage. Keep popping our Q, and we're going to take him down. No problem. He's not even close. Not even close. Problem solved. We're able to pick that up, no problem. Let's continue to help ourselves up and just walk these minions out of range. They're going to die eventually. Here comes the enemy Stitches on the top. Uh, you did see him briefly there. We're going to have to try to rip, reposition to not get caught out of position as Tyrael already engages the main dude, the golem here. And we're going to be able to grab a 30-something skull golem. That's not bad. Actually, 46 will be if we grab all of these, right? Together, but I doubt that we're going to be able to grab them all. I do throw a little bit of a tornado there, trying to lure Stitches, trying to tell him, like, man, you want to push? Do you want to push? I don't think you do. I don't think you do, Stitches. I don't think you do. And we do zone as Lily pretty effectively against Stitches, which is awesome. Let's go to go ahead and hide here in the corner. Stitches can land a hook on any one of these guys. Oh, I'm going to try to stay here. Yeah, I should have just backed away. I should have just backed away. I'm running! I'm running! Oh, maybe get a kill here. I don't know. I'm just going to run away. So, fine. I'm sorry, girl. I panicked. I was like, I should help her, and then she just disappeared, and I was like, I forgot she could do that. And I'm just going to run away and hope that Sylvanas gets away, too. She doesn't. Oh, man, that was a little bit of bad decision making on my part. <laughs> Damage Lily, not the best judgment, is what I'm going to go ahead and say. And then be, I'm going to go ahead and be like, sorry, panic. Sorry, panic. <laughs> just panic. Panicked. I thought it was a CK. It was a CKED. I couldn't spell it. Oh, man. It's been a long day, I'm telling you. Or it's also, my defense, English is not my first language, so I don't have to spell anything correctly. I can spell panic with a D. What's up? I was jumping here, try to counteract this really massive goal on the enemy team got. 
trying to keep, keep trying to keep people topped off as we do DPS it down. That's not standing that unnecessarily, although it does catch the friendly Nova a little bit there. Not a big deal as we are going to be able to heal her up. You see, it does do a little bit of damage, but uh, not enough to have a concern when you do have a healer. So oftentimes people will not move out of it. Do try to though, as it does uh, it does cost me a little bit of mana. As I say that, I get caught in it like a champ. But you know what? I can do it because I'm a healer. I can keep an eye on my own health. All right, let's take up the drink of the healing well. So we're 100% mana up as we do head down here to try to deal with this push from the enemy team. It does look like Sylvanas throwing out a little bit of Vanshees there. I'm grabbing the vision to make sure nothing scary comes this way. Throwing down the Serpent Psychic there on our friendly Sylvanas and then jumping in on uh, on the, and the mobs. As we're going to be able to clear this out. It looks like Murden here now. We're going to go ahead and pop our dragon. Uh, trying to do a little bit of damage. It does look like we get him. And now I'm trying to walk away. Oh, really good pickup there from Kiru. Can I save him? I'm trying to throw a jug that way. Here comes the E. Oh, man, I can't. I cannot. I'm just going to continue following Sylvanas, continue trying to save her and heal her up. But she does blink the other way for some random reason, which means she's out of range of me and our other friends, which means he can't heal her. Uh, well, yeah, she's gone. She's gone. Maybe come this way. Okay, I'm going to try to save you. Sylvie, I'm going to try to save you. The next time we're going to be picking up is... We're going to be using gaining ability power from Blinding Wind, basically every time we kneel, like, uh, that damage. It should be giving us more damage, which means our dragons will do a little bit more damage, as well as our, uh, our serpents. So both our serpents and our dragons, if we do cast the E first, should be hitting for a little bit harder. Putting that Serpent Psychic King there on Nova. We're going to go ahead and pop the dragon, which is going to be able to kill this person straight up. Damage Lily for days. And now we're going to back away, because we have no health. I continue to spam that Q like no problem. Oh, no, 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 we get sniped. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, here comes the heal. We do get away with our lives. And then Avatar coming in there at the last second trying to fuel us up. But no need, because Noah didn't, she didn't believe. She didn't believe. She thought I was going to die and stop pursuing, which means we get out of there alive. Let's look at stats really quickly. 11,000 hero damage, 12,000 healing, 10 and 3. Uh, not bad at all. We do have to work on our decision making, but that's me as a player. Not necessarily anything to do with the build. This has not been the silliest game. This has been one of the silliest games I've played as I've basically just, no, no, no. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. We do have to counteract this push here. It does look like the enemy. Uh, Asked when I'm opting to go deep. I'm going to start attacking him. Here comes the E. We're doing a lot of damage. It does look like we're going to have to put... Uh, nothing, nothing. We're not going to put anything. We do have two seconds to mine. Are we going to be able to join in here? We do lose a fort. It looks like Tyrael finally joining into the mines. Now we're all together. Let's try to go for some skulls if we can. I want to make my way here to the bottom lane. Putting Serpent Psychic on myself and pushing these dudes so they can come chase me. So they're a little bit closer. Here comes our E. Does a lot of damage. He clears most of them out. And we should be able to clear this out, no problem. One thing I don't know if, uh, if it happens or not. Okay, it's just... <laughs> I kept panicking. I thought they were enemies. I don't know if casting uh, Serpent Psychic before I cast E is the smart thing. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh my god, so much damage from Nova. I was even gonna describe what I was gonna do, but I get completely taken down. I don't know why Tyrael left that skull back there. That's kind of rude. We could have used that, man. 46 is better than 45. It looks like the enemy has one chasing Sylvanas here, but finally they all counteract. It's 2v3 coming up here. I gotta warn them to back out. Our friendly Nova taking the long way around. It's a really bad engagement for the friendly team. We don't really have many options. Avatar nowhere to be found. I guess he's babysitting his monstrosity, which is not really helping us at the moment. And Nova basically walks by and goes like, Never mind. Never mind. They're gonna get a 55 skull goal, and that's not a big deal. What's Avatar doing? I don't know where Avatar went. I guess he's repositioning himself. Try to do a little bit of a counter push. Uh, not the best, not the worst. We're going to go ahead and grab that vision. Maybe grab some golems and try to get something going the other way. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to contest anything there. In 20 seconds till Tyrael comes back. A little bit less than that till Rise, Sylvanas at 10. Golems. Oh my god, this is going to be scary. All right, we're going to try to clear these guys out. Uh, I don't believe I have the burst damage to kill them out fast enough. But I will try. All right, 109. So let's keep. Let's test that right now, actually. So we just use that up, and it's 109 uh, strip. So I think it is beneficial for us to do this and then that. I think that's better, right? I don't know. I think it's the same. It's 58. 109 is our auto attack. 58 will be the one without it. So is it? I don't know, man. I think maybe it's rounded up or down. It's still insignificant. That it doesn't really matter. Well, we tried. It was worth seeing the experiment. Let's go ahead up the healing wall before we defend that thing. As it's not really near our walls yet, so that's quite all right. We do grab it. Whenever we're running in here, a ton of damage is going on there on Sylvanas. The next time we're going to be picking up is... Uh, what are we picking up? Herbal Cleanse. We're going to disable movement speed nonsense whenever we heal people, which I think is a good thing. We're going to jump, ahead, jump uh, the Serpent Psyching there on Tyrael. Continue to do a little bit of damage and keep upping our Q just to top him off. I see he's taking a little bit of coincidental AoE from uh, from nonsense. Our mule going down is going to be a godsend. Thank God for whoever picked that up. And this outstanding standing at AoE. 
because uh, basically it's gonna make it so that we don't quite lose these things immediately. We can take a couple damage. It'll also give them bullets back. Uh, all in all, it's a pretty solid talent choice. We are able to pick up the kill on the golem there without much damage being taken. Let's see if we can grab these middle mercs and make something happen. We've been slightly behind the enemy team, although we're winning in kills. But as far as uh, field presence, I feel like they've been doing a lot better. We're gonna jump on these guys, pop our E, do as much damage as we can, and try to clear them out quickly. As the enemy team should be joining here prematurely. There's the enemy Nova. Uh, actually, that's just a hollow decoy. Uh, we do have Stitches pulling a random minion there. Precision strike going out on themselves. We're gonna go ahead and, and engage here, like we're the tank. Or trying to pop Q as fast as possible to save Sylvanas. Nothing we could have done there. And now we're getting chased out. I think it's a bad idea. Don't chase too hard, Tyrael. Come on, don't chase too hard. Let's just back away. We're gonna be able to basically zone out the enemy Sylvanas there, no problem. She does shoot me one more time for good measure, but as you can see, I'm topped off in health. Not a big deal. We did grab the mercs, and now we have the monstrosity as well here in the top lane. Maybe this would be a good time to engage. I don't see the friendly team helping me out, though, so I, I'm a little bit dubious here as to what to do. It does look like <laughs> they're going a little brave there. Force back. Here comes Tyrael. A little too late. We do have the enemy stealthy base. Nova's right on me. I can't do anything to attack her. I, can't, I got nothing. I got literally zero things that I can do to attack her. She's right on me. But uh, now I'm going to walk away because the enemy team is coming. We are going to be able to basically heal, heal ourselves and get out of there no problem. Uh, we show oh my god, my friendly teammates are in so much trouble. I'm going to try to go this way and try to help them out. It looks like Tyrael getting completely annihilated. If I had the jug of healing, now would be the time to use it. I don't. And they do get taken down. Uh, this is a bad engagement. Let's just back away. No need to actually fight this if we if we don't want to. It looks like the enemy team is going to pursue Sylvanas all the way to the top lane. Maybe we can get in a good advantageous position. It looks like she might be able to turn there. She does dodge both the stun and the hook. We're going to go here and go really deep. Engaging there on Sigis. He does eat us. Sadly, that is not what we wanted. We're going to be able to get healed. Here comes the E. Here comes the precision strike. Doing a ton of damage. We're basically taking a lot of damage from Tyrael, but we're going to go ahead and pop our dragon. No need, because we're going to slow people down. And we're going to take a lot of damage from the precision strike. We continue healing ourselves. He goes the E again. Here comes more and more heals. It looks like we're distracting. Thank you, Abathur, for actually stopping the damage there. And we make it out of there alive just barely. Let's continue to heal up, hit up like healing well, and then head over to mines. It does not look like it was a worthwhile trade, as we did lose three members of the friendly team in that entire engagement for just two members of the enemy team. We're going to try to run to mines as fast as possible through the bottom lane. I'm actually going to let my teammates know that's my intent. I'm not trying to be cute here. And try to grab some skulls on the left and right. It does not look like the enemy team grabbed any skulls yet. They're beginning to now, which basically means that they actually had to go back and heal too. So that's not bad. We're going to jump in here. Remember to keep pressing our Q to try to heal ourselves. I don't know why I didn't attack. That E ability, as you can see, is doing enough damage now to where this is really good. Oh, we have the enemy Sylvanas there. We're going to go ahead and walk the other way. We're going to walk this way. I want nothing to do with that. Uh, maybe jump on these guys. Continue to drop ourselves off. As it is really important that we have a little bit of uh, cushion on our health because Nova does so much damage to us. It does look like Tyrael engaging there. Uh, we're going to run, run in and get a lot of these skulls. Keep jumping on Tyrael as much as I can, but I'm taking so much damage that i got to walk away. Sylvanas continues to chase me. Here comes the... Serpent Psychic on myself. I keep healing, and I'm just going to go top for mines. Continue to heal myself. I'm running, I'm running. Maybe I can bait. Maybe I can bait. I don't know if they're coming. I do not know if they're coming. It doesn't look like they chased me all the way up here. That's a sad day because I really wanted to kill them with the friendly Nova. We're going to go back in the mines, trying to chase. I need to hook up with Sylvanas at the very least as I do not have stealth. It does look like the enemy Sylvanas on the top lane of the mines. We're going to get you through the bottom. Oh, Sylvanas gets taken down. I try to throw up a heal there, but not enough to actually do anything about it. It looks like we're in a lot of trouble. The friendly Nova coming out doing damage. Precision Strike doing out. He does pick up the kill there on the enemy Sylvanas. I'm going to go ahead and pop my E. Doing a little bit of damage to both of them. Here comes the Dragon out. We're going to be able to pick it up on Stitch and slow him down significantly. We do pick up the kill there as well. And now we can just tank this Golem. He does look at Merton. Stunts us though, though. And picks up a good kill there. Thanks to that attack damage from the Golem. But we're now jumping on him. Serpent Psychic coming out. Doing a lot of damage on and we pick up the kill there as well and now we're jumping on Asmodan who tries to juke but as you can see we're just tanking we're just tanking the entire time the next time we're going to be picking up is Kung Fu Hustle which basically is battle momentum every time we get hit and that's exactly what we want to be pick up the kill there on Asmodan as well really good show for damage Lili thanks to the friendly Nova this is exactly what the kind of game I wanted to see and man oh man do we pick up a giant kill we wipe out the enemy team as they trickle in there's 2v all of them and we pick up all those coals and I'm going to say great job Nova mighty Teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that was so great. Look at damage. 21,000 hero, 31,000. As you can see, we're pretty much up there, man, with all of these guys. That was excellent. That's what I like to see. It makes me feel great. Meanwhile, Tyrael grabbing these giants. We're going to go help them out. 
That was exactly at the time we needed it. Uh, so basically, the last big piece of the puzzle, and it's a really good thing we picked it up, it's called Kung Fu Huzzle. Cool does recharge faster when damaged. So every time we get hit, uh, abilities recharge three times as fast. So as long as we're basically now trying to play like we're warriors, we're trying to be in people's faces. Let's go defend, I suppose, before we do anything else. We're going to try to be in people's faces because the longer we are in combat, the faster our Q ability will reset. And remember, we did pick up Pitch Perk, which means the faster we use the Q ability, the less mana it costs, which allows us to be in their face, doing a lot of damage, popping those E. So basically, we're saving our, our mana only for our E abilities while we just sit there and auto attack and do all kinds of nonsense. And basically, are able to do it because people will try to kill Lili. Every time they hit me, I'll recharge, I'll keep healing myself, and then I'll be able to support the friendly team. It does look like a really big push here, thanks to Abath around the top lane, doing a ton of damage. Might even be able to take out that keep before the enemy team can respond, which means we can take out these mercenaries, no problem. We do throw out the Serpent on Tyrael, and we join in here, start doing a little bit of damage. I don't need to spam the Q as much here because he is topped off, but I don't want to make sure, I want to make sure he does have a little bit of a cushion. Remember, again, the enemy team is very bursty. I don't want to make, I want to basically not, I want to have insurance is what I'm trying to say. I don't want to let him just get shot for no reason. It looks like Zavana's jumping in here on the Giants as well. Good, good pickup. Uh, the enemy has put on a little bit out of position. Might be a good engagement for us. If no, I can go face check that for a little bit. We do pick him up. Here comes Stitches. All right, we're going to jump right on. Oh my God, so much damage though. We're basically going to have to run away. Here comes the dragon. Oh my God, the dragon damage. Lady doing so much damage. We save Tyrael and we pick up the kill. We don't get taken down. Thanks to Abathur also with one of those crazy crazy shield bubbles and now we're going so deep i'm putting on the friendly um serpent there throwing on a e, hitting murder for a lot of damage we're gonna stand here in fort range just spamming q spamming q and basically walk away for a second we're taking a lot of damage from the laser we do re-engage putting the serpent psychic there one more time on the friendly sylvanas doing so much damage and we will wipe him out you can see i hit almost dead a couple of times so we're able to just sit here Spam Q and take the kill, and this is a massive push. This could be good game. This ought to be good game. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and tank this. I'm going to face tank it. I don't need anything else but mana. This is going to be fairly cheap, and we're going to do all the damage in the world. You see Nova spamming out the little dance there, and basically that does it for today. Let's look at the stats really quickly. 26,000 hero damage, 45,000 healing. Oh my god, what a build. I really love damage, Lily. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Al. I hope you enjoyed it. Go check it out, and I will see you all next time.